Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Daya Monet. Today I have an extended ponytail for you guys and I go on to show you how to do the bubble ponytail effect. So if you want to get this look, keep watching. All right, y'all. So believe it or not, this is blow dried hair. It's honestly giving four F's, but it's fine. So we're going to get it slick. But I just wanted to show y'all my little gray hair that I found. I was really pressed. Okay, so I went ahead and straightened one side of it and I'm just going to show you guys how to do the rest. So I'm starting off with a hot comb. You want to start with the ends and work your way up, just how you would detangling your hair. But be careful because I burn my scalp multiple times. And then I'm just going to follow up with this hot comb with a flat iron. And I have both set to the highest setting. So for the flat iron, I think that was like 450, and then the hot comb was like 20 which is the highest setting on the hot comb. So I go on to straighten the rest of my hair and this is what it looks like, but thank God it's not a silk press video cause baby, it's a little stiff. I don't know what happened, but yikes. Yeah! But if y'all got any product recommendations to get it slick, let your girl know. So for this look, I'm doing a middle part. I already went ahead and did that, but now I'm starting at the tip of my ear and making my first section. He's gonna take that part all the way across to the other ear and it should look like this. The two main products that we'll be using today is going to be Got To Be Glue Free Spray and then the TG Bedhead Wax Stick. For the remainder of my hair in the back, I went ahead and sectioned it into two sections. And then we're just going to start with the bottom section and start applying the wax stick near the part. And also underneath my hair by my kitchen, just to get that smooth. And then I'm going to go ahead and comb that through. So now you're going to go ahead and grab your hair like you would when you're about to form a ponytail. And you're gonna start spraying with the Got To Be Free spray all over the hair just to make sure it's very saturated. You don't wanna put the hair tie on yet because you wanna be able to comb the product through like this. But you wanna try your best to have a tight pony um, in your hand just so that it can start to mold because once you start blow drying it, it will get hard and you're not gonna be able to really move it like that. So you're gonna to wanna to form your ponytail like this and then I'm taking the blow dryer on the highest heat and the highest airflow. Preferably, you don't want to move your hand. You want to try to keep holding the pony as long as possible so it can stay molded. But the blow dryer was too hot for me, so I started moving my hand. So once you're sure that there are no more lumps or anything, you can go ahead and put the hair tie on and then go ahead and do another layer of the free spray and then blow dry that again. And it'll still be soft enough usually for you to take your comb and just try to smooth it out a little bit on top of that. So I went ahead and took my wax stick again and went along this part of this top section and I'm just going in again with a hot comb just to make sure it's very, very flat. And then you're just going to go ahead and repeat the same exact process as before. You're gonna wanna do your baby hairs before you mold the front section of your hair, just to make sure that you know all those extra hairs on your edges get tucked under that mold. So that's what I'm going ahead and doing now, and I'm using the Got To Be Gel, the black one. I went ahead and separated out my sideburns, and I'll show you guys how I style those later. So I'm taking the top section and then separating it into two halves. If your hair is all the same length, you probably only have to do one section, but the hair closest to my part is significantly shorter because I cut it. So I'm going ahead and doing two separate sections. So this section is actually gonna be able to reach into the ponytail. 
So we're gonna do the same process, but when we're finished, we're gonna put another hair tie on so to connect it to the other hair. And you can also use the end of the rat tail comb to help smooth it out because if you use your fingers, a lot of starts to get really, really sticky. We've made it to the last section, praise the Lord. So since my hair is shorter, we're just gonna wanna douse where my hair ends in a lot of gel just to make sure that it's very slick because like I said, we're not gonna be able to tie it into the ponytail. So if your hair is also shorter like mine, just make sure you put a lot of gel and comb that through so that it can be flat. And then just go ahead with your blow dryer and then repeat the same on the other side. And this is what we're looking like after everything's molded. Yes, ma'am. So now for the fun part. Since my hair is shorter, I'm just going ahead and adding some regular connect along braiding hair just to make my natural ponytail a little bit longer. So I'm just separating the braiding hair and my hair into three strands and then just combining them and doing a braid. and then I'm just sealing it with a rubber band. And it doesn't need to be too long, so I'm just gonna go ahead and chop it off right there. But if your hair is already that length, then you're straight. The hair that I'm using today is synthetic. I was not trying to buy virgin hair just for this style. It's only $13 a pack, and it is in the natural yaki texture and 30 inches long. All the details will be down below in the description box. After unraveling the bundles, you're gonna wanna keep the wefts doubled. And you're going to add a bobby pin at the end. This is how we're going to be able to secure the hair onto our ponytail. So you're going to take the bobby pin and put it at the end of your braided pony to secure it. And then you're going to take a small piece of hair from the end of the track. And we're going to wrap that around the bottom of the ponytail. And you're just going to keep wrapping until you've gotten all the way to the bottom of the strand. Now we're going to start wrapping the wefts and you're just going to want to wrap them right above the other one. So you want to keep them close so that there's not any major gaps. And then periodically you're going to take a bobby pin and then secure it by putting one half of the bobby pin through the middle of your braid and then the other on top of the wefts. And then just continue to wrap going up. And make sure you know take your time and make sure it's secure and tight around your braid because the last thing you want is for the tracks to slip some people like to glue their tracks to their braided ponytail and some people even like to sew them down but i honestly feel like the bobby pin method is just as secure and is very efficient So once you reach the end of the track, um, you're going to take two pieces of hair from both wefts because remember it was doubled and set those to the side and then you're going to take a final bobby pin and secure those two wefts to your braid and then like before we're going to take that strand and then just keep wrapping it around until we run out of hair. I also go ahead and add a rubber band just to secure it even more. And then you're going to add your second bundle um, right where you finished your first one. And just repeat the same exact process. And I didn't end up using all of the second bundle, so now I'm just going to go ahead and cut the end off. And then you're just going to repeat the same exact process. Take two strands from the end and then wrap it around. But I don't put a bobby pin this time since I don't want it sticking out. And this part is optional, but I personally think it makes the ponytail look even more natural. You're gonna take um, a section out from like the bottom of the ponytail, and then you're gonna spray it with some got to be, and then we're just gonna wrap that around the base of the ponytail. And I recognize there's a part in the back that's not really laid down all the way, a little lumpy lump, but when I looked in the mirror later, I saw it and fixed it. Okay. 
and I'm going over it um, with a little brush just to make sure it's very smooth and it's going to continue to do that each time you wrap it around spray and brush spray and brush so this is the final product after everything's all smoothed out and you can stop at this point if you want um, and just wear it straight but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do the bubble ponytail method. I'm just going ahead and brushing the hair to make sure it's straight. If you wanted to straighten it even more, the hair is safe up to 400 degrees. So now you're just gonna take your pack of rubber bands and just start placing them. And you wanna make sure you double them up just so that the ponytail isn't limp and it'll hold the bubbles. And yeah, it's pretty simple guys. Just um, figure out where it is you wanna place them. You can put them as far apart or as close as you want together and just continue to do that along the length of the ponytail. Now you can go ahead and start fluffing out the bubbles just to make it as big or, you know, as small as you like. And I just really, really love this look. It gives classy. It's giving, I don't know, royalty like, period. I might enter my birthday pic in here so y'all can see when I wore this. So now for the sideburns, I'm just going ahead and straightening them with a little curl. And I was feeling it, obviously. <laughs> and then, like I said, the hair is safe to flat iron, so I just flat ironed that a little bit so it didn't look stiff or anything. And then I'm just taking um, a little bit of gel and just molding those to my liking. And I'm 5'4 and 3 eighths, so I was just trying to show y'all the length of the hair on me. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. It really helps small YouTubers like me. And make sure you subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Love you guys so much. Bye.